We gotta talk about Demon Slayer. Not the anime, not the manga. We're talking about the game, but we're gonna talk about the manga and the anime a little bit in this video just to give you guys some context. It has officially been deemed as Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles in English, and it's going to get an English release. It's pretty dope. A lot of people were curious about that. I don't know if it's gonna be an English dub release, but it's at least gonna have the English subtitles, and that's gonna get a lot of people happy. And I haven't really uploaded anything in regards to this game much to the channel at all. I kind of felt like at the time, you know, I didn't have enough time to really record the videos I wanted to in regards to this game and stuff just kind of passed me by. But this game is honestly going to be the next huge anime game, I feel like. Scarlet Nexus is going to be a great anime game that people are going to have a blast with, but at the same time, Scarlet Nexus doesn't have PvP. So recently, we just got Hinokami Kagura Tanjiro announced for the game, and that marks the 11th character in total of well, Tanjiro. We're counting him as two separate characters. We got the water breathing, then we got the Hinokami Kagura one, of course. So two separate Tanjiros that adds up to 11 characters, and I'm thinking we're probably going to get 11 more characters um, just to try to even it out, you know, with the good and the bad side. Even though you could argue that two of the bad guys, the guys I'm on playing on this bad side or the demon side, should be on the good side. You'll, we'll get to them in a little bit. You guys probably already know who I'm talking about. But in this video, I'm going to be going over the possibilities of the demons that are going to be announced in the near future. I really, really feel like Tanjiro was the very last Demon Slayer that was announced, guys. I don't think they would really announce anyone else just because of the fact Tanjiro was kind of like the it thing, like the most hyped thing in Demon Slayer next to Rengoku. So in regards to these demons that I feel like, this is just my thoughts, so you guys can comment down below how you guys feel about everything. Make sure to do so, actually. I want to have a discussion about this. Let's talk about these demons, though. I feel like the very first demon that comes to mind when people think about a demon that's going to be incorporated into this game as a playable character is Rui, just straight up. I feel like if they didn't incorporate Rui into this game, it would be a crime. I mean, everyone knows who Rui is just because of the fact they saw episode 19. They, a lot of people haven't even... A lot of people haven't even seen Demon Slayer, but they still know who this guy is. Maybe not by name, but they saw him getting his head chopped off, man. The way I'm kind of thinking of who's going to be incorporated into this game as playable characters is just by syncing them up with the characters who have already been announced and just thinking about the characters who have had like big moments and whatnot and who they fought while having those big moments. So that's kind of what I'm basing this off of. So of course, Rui is going to be incorporated into this roster, I feel like. The next person that comes to mind is Akaza, or the Upper Moon 3, I'm pretty sure that's what um, he is ranked as. He definitely is gonna be incorporated if we have freaking Rengoku, let's be honest with ourselves. The next demon that comes to mind for me is Kyogai. That is the demon who was over here beating on the drums. They're probably called something else, but I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. Regardless, the guy that was over here making all the fire beats on his chest and whatnot. I just feel like he played a major role in the anime and everything. And, you know, a lot of people really like the fight that Tanjiro had with Kyogai. And I feel like he would be pretty interesting in this game, to say the least. These next two demons, though, I'm going to announce both of them at the same time. Because I feel like you really just can't announce one over the other. You just got to say them both at the same time. I personally believe they had the best fight in the entirety of Season 1. I know a lot of people want to go crazy over the Rui fight. Let's be honest with ourselves for a second, though, people. But the Rui fight, Rui was just beating Tanjiro's ass, and then Tanjiro just said, Fire! But Yahaba and Susamaru, I think, uh, uh, Susamaru, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anywho, those two demons definitely have to get incorporated. They were over here really scrapping. And I feel like a lot of people would love to participate in the game playing as those characters. I feel like their powers and everything would be cool. They'd probably be very fun to play with. Another demon that comes to mind when I think about who would be incorporated into Hinokami Chronicles is Enmu. If you don't know who Enmu is, he was the very last lower moon left after Muzan went on his little rant and everything. He was the guy that was over here causing all that trouble on the freaking train. You know, he's the one that turned that thing into a demon train. The guy with the freaky hands turned people asleep, you know, that type of thing. He, he's a little weird. But at the same time, I mean, I can understand why he would be put into this game. He has to definitely get PT. The boy is the main... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's boy. I, I don't know. He is the main antagonist of the Demon Slayer movie. Yes, and his ultimate is going to be him turning into a train and running you over. The next demon is going to be the father spider if you guys remember Rui made his family and everything the father though was a problem 
he was a problem. He was fighting Tanjiro and Inosuke at the same time. Like, he was giving them smoke, man. Um, but I feel like he would definitely have to be incorporated as a playable character just to try to fill out this roster. And on top of that, Inosuke had a pretty dope moment with him, if I recall correctly. The next one is going to be the spider demon that was actually over here looking like a whole ass spider and would turn other people into spiders that ended up fighting Zenitsu. Feel like he has to get incorporated into the game off the sheer fact. I mean, if you look at Zenitsu's ultimate, when well, he's over here zipping around and whatnot. Who did he use that against? He used it against Spider Boy, remember? And with that being said, I feel like it would be a very missed opportunity to not have him in this game, all things considered. I mean, when you're playing the story mode of the game, you're gonna have to end up fighting him as an Isu. At least I would hope so. If you don't end up doing that, I feel like that would be really freaking disappointing, personally. Now, these last few characters are characters that I feel like you guys need to have an open mind with and really bear with me while I talk about these things, all right? By the way, shout out to all the people who actually stuck with me through the duration of this video so far. I know that a lot of people People end up watching these videos they click right off so I gotta say shout out to y'all matter of fact uh, if you want to you know what I'm saying you can also like the video since you've been over here you know kicking it with me for this long I feel like you you've been enjoying yourself to some degree I don't know though these last few demons so we got Muzan we got Tamayo and we have Tamayo's simp I mean Yushiro so I'm catching myself in the editing process of this video I just gotta mention one thing in particular actually it's two things but bear with me so the first thing I need to mention is the fact that I'm mentioning Tamayo and what's his name Yushiro I'm pretty sure that's the dude's name I'm mentioning those two demons as one character slot okay I'm mentioning those two as one character may seem a little weird but I don't know I hope you guys can really bear with me and understand why I'm mentioning them as one character I feel like Yushiro would be the one out there scrapping and whatnot but I feel like in order to use like certain abilities and like say for example ultimate Yushiro really does not have an ultimate I mean the guy just goes invisible but say for example if you use that in combination with Tamayo I feel like that could be a really cool ultimate and another thing that I need to mention that I forgot to actually say while recording the video is the other demon would be the hand demon or whatever you guys want to call um, the one that Tanjiro had to fight, who also off Tanjiro's senpais, I guess you could say. You know, the one that's beefing with Urokodaki. They added Tanjiro's senpai, so they might as well go ahead and add him up in there. I, I feel like that would just only fit. I mean, even in the trailer for the game, you see Tanjiro fighting him. It would be cool if he was a playable character as well. But at the same time, that is a pretty big boy. We'll see what happens. Now, first thing people are going to say is that Muzan should not be incorporated because Muzan didn't actually fight anybody. And for my manga readers, we all know how Muzan actually is when he does fight. Well, let's think back in the Storm series for a second, all right? There has been big game type characters incorporated very early into Storm, but they weren't nearly as crazy. They would barely use any of their powers, and sometimes they would even use stuff that's just made up for the sake of the game. But they were incorporated just to fill out the roster and give people that enjoyment of fighting against the final boss, you know what I mean? Even if it doesn't really make the most sense. So with that being said, I feel like Muzan could be incorporated. I don't know exactly how they would go about incorporating him, but I do feel like it could work. But those are just my thoughts on who I I believe is going to be added you guys can let me know down below what you guys think is going to happen in regards to reveals moving forward if there even is going to be any more reveals may hopefully we can get an announcement date you know we got 2021 but that's very big my guy normally when i see 2021 being announced for or 2022 just a year just a year being announced in regards to a game or a movie or a show coming out i normally just think it's towards the very end might be pushing into 2022 because they're not saying summer 2021 or anything like that you know what i mean so um yeah that, those are my thoughts on that but yeah that's that's about all i have to say in this video make sure to leave a like comment down below how you feel about everything also subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content definitely gonna be uploading this game to the freaking channel but i'm getting up out of here peace out <laughs>